Hey girl, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley B. Deck. Thank you for tuning in if you are new. And of course, if you are a returning subby, I am so grateful to have you back. Today I did a reverse ombre, or at least that's what I'm gonna call it. You guys know I'm infamous for like my reds, my burgundies, my 99 J's. I love a good warm red burgundy tone but today i switched it up and i did like a reverse ombre because typically the color comes towards the end and the root tends to be darker and this is kind of like the opposite where the color's at the root i love 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 this trend it's been around since forever and i think this is one of the first times i've actually done it on my channel even better is that this one fits glueless now you will see me apply this one in the video but at the outro i decided to go ahead and lift it and remove the glue so that you guys can see you don't have to bond it down it fits really nice if you want a little bit of extra comfort without bonding it down you can definitely use a um, wig grip I'll have my favorite one listed in the description box. It holds a curl. It's super beautiful. So I'm going to go ahead and jump right into the tutorial. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and check out the description box on your way out. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, girls, so this is the wig straight out of the box. I wanted to give you a look at the inside construction of the cap as always. The lace is a little bit shorter because I cut it off camera. And this is what she looks like on. The first thing I noticed about this one is that it did fit glueless. Here is a look at the hairline as well as the parting. It did come set as a side part and I did shift it over to a center part. I definitely think I would love it even more as a side part, especially after seeing pictures of it on the website. I'm going to go ahead and stamp out the part with the dynamic duo this is the wax stick paired with the electric hot comb and i like to go in and just tame the hairline and get it as flat as possible here is a before and after and you guys can see it makes a huge difference just to give your lace a little tlc so this one is a skunk stripe 13 by 4 transparent lace wig the color on top is a 99j and i love that they have it as like a, a reverse ombre here is a look at the hair from the back. They definitely have many options and I believe the wig starts at a very affordable price. I'm going to go in and make it blend with my complexion by adding a little bit of concealer. First round I used like an eyeliner brush and I realized it was too thin so I did a second um, layer with a thicker brush and I love the way it came out. Now I'm going to go in and just press the hair out. Originally, I just wanted a silk press, and so I just went in and just took my time. I didn't need to use a chase method per se, but I definitely did use a heat protectant, and I believe I used a chi. I'll have it in the description box for you if... um. Yeah, I'll have it in the description box so you'll be able to purchase it for yourself. But I highly recommend using a uh, heat protectant just to preserve the longevity of your hair. Whether it's your natural hair or extensions, you just want to make sure that it lasts and it holds up and you don't experience heat damage. Also with this one, feel free to customize the wig. You can definitely, you know, twist out the hairline if you like. You can add a different style to it. You can add baby hair as well. You guys can see I added just a little bit of oil sheen and you see how I was able to soak it out. I also did the opposite side on camera and this was the after result. I did feel like pretty much I was done. I just needed to cut the lace and bond it down and I was done. So I did go in and do some curls and some layers and you'll see that after the install process. So let's go ahead and pull the hair back and go ahead and cut off the excess lace. As I mentioned, it's always a great idea to customize your wigs to your liking. For me, I wanted to go with what they provided. I also didn't want to do any baby hair this go around. So I'm just cutting the lace as close to the hairline as possible. I like to do these little snippet motions and this kind of helps me to get more of a jagged cut. I'm going to pull my hair back and apply a generous layer of the Eben uh, Lace Glue. I believe it's called Wonder Lace, and I just apply the lace on top and hold it in place. Kind of dab off the excess glue so it doesn't dry out my forehead. And now I'm doing something completely different than I've ever done before. I use a little portable fan to go ahead and bond the wig down. Now it did work, but because I've had this fan for so long and I've never charged it, it, it literally died as almost as the wig was being done. But so I did go in with the blow dryer for a cool shot. Now I'm going in and adding layers. At this point, the wig was complete and I was really happy with the look. But I just felt like tutorial wise, I could do more for you guys. So I went ahead and just added some custom layers only to the front to kind of frame the face. Because this one is longer, I didn't want to go too high with the layers. So they are pretty long. But you can definitely do as you please. And then I decided at the last minute to just go in and curl it. Sometimes I feel like 
curling with a flat iron is really like a foolproof easy way for your curls to come out great so i just did nice larger sections um on each side and i'm just curling under and away kind of just to give you that nice fair faucet layered look and then i think i did like maybe four or five curls on each side and i did go back into that middle one and break it in half because it was a little bit too thick also, I do want to mention that this one is pretty affordable. Um, I'll have it linked in the description box, and I believe it goes from like 12 or 14 inches all the way to like 30 inches, something extreme. So you'll definitely be able to get the look you go for. You can also get it in two different densities, and then you can also get it in straight or body wave. So definitely, if you like the skunk stripe vibe with the 99J, and you want it, you know, maybe shorter or maybe longer or maybe a different texture, I highly recommend you customize it to your liking. But definitely 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 check out the skunk stripe and the reverse ombre i love love this on me it's absolutely gorgeous i did the same thing on the opposite side as far as adding some curls to it and just really taking my time you can also go in with your sebastian shapers to give it a little bit of a hold you can also do like um how would you call it like t-pins or pin pin curls that's what it's called pin curls to preserve the curls i wanted like the long curls like the ilia vibe where it's not too curly so i'm just going in and primping and touching it up as you guys can see we did no baby hair in the front so this was super simple easy and beginner friendly and i hope you were able to follow along and you love the look be sure to subscribe if you haven't already now let's go ahead and see the packaging and talk about my thoughts on this one so done with this look and i just wanted to come and like talk about it and share it with you love the detail on this wig i don't think i've ever done like a reverse ombre i think that's what you call it um type of wig where the root and the base of the wig is colored opposed to the ends i'm typically used to and i think you are too used to the dark root and then it goes down to something light if we're doing color or like highlights throughout so i really love the switch up of this one i love 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 the color and it's definitely an easy easy install and it's also easy as far as like a color you can get away with sometimes you guys know we do bright and fun colors and it kind of gives like when you don't have on makeup or when you're not done up um it's not as fly like your makeup has to be done for it to look good and this is one of those ones i can put up into a bun i can put you know two little pieces of string baby hairs down or whatever ponytail and all of that and this is going to look cute every day with or without being done up this one did come from sophia and i actually have had this one for a while so i'm happy i'm finally able to get around to it this one is 24 inches in length it's a 13 by 4 lace front wig the texture of the lace is transparent lace and it is 180 percent density also inside the box that the way came in we do have a little care package and it's just um, an eyebrow razor which these are my favorite um, tool to use to cut off excess lace um, a nice pair of lashes and then also a wig cap you even have like this little how to measure um, chart which is good to actually hang on to because um if you don't already know about you know like how to measure the length of your hair sometimes you may get like this don't feel like 22 this don't feel like that um it's good to just be informed and know what to look for let me show you the hair from the back I don't think you can see the color as much from the back as you can from the front and I like that. I love that it's subtle because um, if you're someone like me who, you know, I dibble and dabble with many, many, many wigs, I like to switch it up and have something different. So this one just doesn't feel typical, if you will. It feels like you're doing something different. You're stepping outside of the box. So that kind of like, you know, when you go around people and you have like red tips, burgundy tips, it's something that we've been doing since the 70s, the 80s, not the 70s, but the 80s, mainly the 90s. And even like in middle school, mom let me get a little bit of like cellophane on my ends and I thought I was just the s-h-i bleep and i think it was like the adore dye red cherry or was it jazzing it was one of those that was like her go-to um that she used in her hair and she let me get it in my hair and of course it's like a rinse it's not a real dye but this gives me that vibe where it's subtle enough again to go through every day if you end up at like a doctor's appointment a meeting attorney meeting whatever the case may be you don't stand out too much but you can also you know get compliments and have fun when you're out and about on the weekends and your fun time so I definitely love that for me. Also, I'll mention that it did hold a curl, which I liked. You guys can see it's bonded down 
but now that I've taken it out, you can just take it off and press and it's glueless. It doesn't have to be bonded down, which is like the jewel, the gem in all of this. So I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. Be sure to check out Sofil, a direct link to this wig. All the details and everything you need to know about this video is in the description box. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Smooches.